2020 has been a great year for souls. 2020, for most people, has had its difficult problems. And you may even have lost a loved one in this year. But I don't take it as a horrible year. I take it as a blessed year. Why? Because souls were saved. Souls finally met who their maker was, who their creator was, who their savior was, the redeemer was, through the hard circumstances that 2020 allowed, that God allowed 2020 to have, I should say. And I'm excited for 2021. Why? Because I really do believe that we're living in the last days. And with that, every year we are closer to the return of our Messiah, to the second return of Christ. See, uh, don't mix up the rapture of the bride of Christ from the second coming of Christ, because those are two different events. Okay, the rapture of the bride of Christ is for those who are going to be caught up with the Lord and to be taken to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And then those who are left behind are those who either never believed in Jesus for salvation or though they are the ones who uh, were not ready. They were lukewarm. They, they didn't uh, have faith. They didn't deny themselves daily. They turned back to their vomit as a dog does. Um, they dabbled with sin to the point where they have seared their conscience like with a hot iron. And they just have pushed away the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And I want to share this dream that I had about 2017 when the Lord started pulling me closer and closer into his arms. You know, I became born again in August of 2018, but the Lord started, I, I grew up in a Christian household, but I was not saved. I didn't know what it means to really believe in Jesus Christ. I just professed him with my mouth and lived how I wanted to, smoking weed every day um, in my high school, you know, years and fornicating and drinking and all these sort of things that defiled this temple. And, but I would profess Jesus Christ all day, right? You know, if someone asked me, are you a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. And this dream that the Lord started giving me was almost coursing me and drawing me by his Holy Spirit to the Father through the Son of Jesus, his Son, Jesus Christ. And there were many, many, many vivid visions. But this one dream I'm going to share to you real quick. And this was a dream um, that I was in this city. It almost seemed like there was New, New York City. And I was at a restaurant slash church. I remember it very vividly. It was a church, but inside this church, like think of the basic squared, you know, steeple church. Okay. But inside it was a dark, gloomy setting, uh, low light, and it was a restaurant. And there were many, many famous people. I remember seeing Adam Sandler, Steve Carell, the president Obama at the time. I remember seeing uh, Matthew McConaughey. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys probably know him. And all these sort of actors, celebrities, and famous people who are idols in these in this world, right? And as I'm sitting there in a meeting, and I'm just like looking around at everyone, and something doesn't feel right. And we're right directly in the city. And I can see a huge window, and there's a street, and it's a dark street. It's at nighttime. And there's like nobody there, a whole bunch of cars, but nobody's outside. And I'm sitting there, and I know I felt this feeling, something is about to happen. Now, as soon as I thought that feeling, boom, the light shattered, lights went out. Everyone starts getting up in chaos and talking to everyone. What's going on? What was that? Why are the lights out? Why, why is everybody whoa, 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 like, in just pure chaos and confusion? And I remember standing up and I got filled. What I now know was the Holy Spirit. At that time, I just thought it was adrenaline or rush because I wasn't born again yet, but I now know that was me being filled with this Holy Spirit. I said, Jesus Christ is coming. Repent. He is coming. He is coming. And then all of a sudden we look in the streets and everybody's eyes gaze in the streets and the, the streets start opening up. They start opening up and you can see these huge beasts with huge claws and many, many teeth, teeth start coming out of the streets and they, they, they are trying and I, you just see the human beings who uh, were walking in the streets at that time, you know, because there was no human beings in there, human beings. And then the beast started clawing them and grabbing them and throwing them everywhere. And I knew that they were going to come inside. <clears throat> there were two people in that whole church restaurant that were saved and born again. And I thank God I was a part of that. Why? How could I tell? Because 
we were invisible to the evil creature that came out of the pit. Why? Because when the the, the, the evil monster started coming in and terrorizing and throwing around tables and humans and flesh and gory. It was, it was really, really scary. It, put, it, it, it scared me a lot in the dream, I remember. But I was invisible because the beast walked right past me. It almost sniffed me and walked right past me. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie oh, with... What's that guy from The Office? Uh, and then he made a movie where it's like quiet, quiet, a quiet place. That's what it was. I saw that a, a while ago. Um, but yeah, it was like that movie, The Quiet Place, where if you, they're blind, but if you stay quiet enough, they'll go right past you. Okay. And, and then I woke up. <clears throat> now I share this dream because I feel like there's a lot of meaning to it. There's a lot of meaning to it when the rapture takes place and there are those who are going to be left behind. It's going to be pure chaos. They're going to be wishing for death, but death will flee from them. Okay, people are going to try to be killing themselves and they're not going to be able to kill themselves because God will not allow it. And there's going to be demons that are going to be rolling the earth. And that's why I believe this zombie apocalypse that the world knows it as, what is really the judgment of God and the seven bowls of God's wrath that are going to be poured out and God's going to be allowing all of this to take place. It's called the seven year tribulation. And I totally believe that we are not appointed to wrath, that we are not appointed to wrath, those who are in Christ and ready. So we will not be appointed to God's judgment wrath. Now, how much will God allow us to go through? It could be a lot. We could go through a whole nother World War III before we're taking up. We could go up at the last second when the bombs drop. I remember receiving that dream. When the bombs dropped, we went up. So I, I don't know exactly when. I just know it's soon and I want to be ready at all times. And I want us, the body of Christ, to be ready at all times so that we um, can be prepared and not be left behind. This is a time where we need to be praying for our family members, praying for those who don't know him, uh, praying for the lost, because I really don't want anybody to be left behind. It's going to be complete chaos and destruction and a lot of people are going to have their hearts turn wax cold toward God because they're going to blame it on God and this is what all this this whole agenda is of the alien the aliens abducting you know it's it the thank you Jesus this is what I was going to say Satan he's a mocker he mocks God he mocks God. He mocks what God does, and he has his own version of it, okay? That's why he runs parallel to the church of Jesus Christ, okay? There's always a demonic realm to things. Now, the demonic realm is now the alien, the ra right? Because Jesus Christ has the taking away of the of the, uh, the elect of Jesus Christ, the chosen, the, um, the ones who are in him and abiding him and have, having faith. But then the devil, Satan, has his own rapture. Okay, it's going to be, that's why they're pushing this alien agenda. I mean, NBC News, I don't know if you guys read the article. They're saying that uh, Trump already knows that there's aliens and they have, uh, you know, that they have not yet revealed themselves to mankind because we're not ready to receive, but we're, they're watching us and they've been watching us for a while. Man, this is, this is just crazy because this is the Bible. Okay, the fallen angels, they're already among us. The, the fallen angels, and, they, and this may seem crazy to you, but... But but when you really read the word of God and you read that there were angel fallen angels who had sex with women on earth, okay? And you're trying to tell me what? Like in the days of Noah, so it'll be the coming of the Son of Man, they will be doing the same type of things, okay? In the days of Noah, they were mixing DNA, they were having the fallen angels were having sex with the the humans and, and they produced these Nephilim and all this sort of stuff and Man, it's just, it gets really wild. And I usually don't talk about these things because I'm not really feeling led to, but I'm feeling led to share what God has been showing me in this journey of seeking wisdom just with people who don't understand. And I, I, I ask that you guys pray about everything that I'm saying. Okay, go, go to the word of God alone. Start with believing in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for our sins and ask him to fill, fill, fill you with the Holy Ghost. Okay, because we need to be having the baptism of the Holy Ghost and we need to repent and turn away from sin and have faith in Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Ghost and get baptized in Jesus' name and water, fully submerged. That's what baptism means. But anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic, but that's not off topic because topic, that's the gospel. Um, but yeah, guys, we need to be ready for what's coming because it's coming soon. I feel the urgency in my spirit and I know the body of Christ feels the urgency. So this is a message to come back to your first love. Okay, don't, don't, Forget about the past. Let's start today. Today is the day of salvation. Today you can be forgiven. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So ask him to fill your life. Ask him to give you a new heart, new desires. And let's march forward, guys.
God bless you all in Jesus' name.